this video, I'm going to go over how to identify the large mustelids. So we have three species that I'm talking about here, the wolverine, badger, and the river otter. All of these skulls are going to be larger than 90 millimeters um, CBL. So for example, this badger here is all the way at wow, 120, much larger than the other weasels and margins that you're going to look at. To distinguish these three from one another, the biggest thing that I would look at is the back molars. So, in looking at this wolverine, we can see that the molars are swung inward, dumbbell-shaped, just like the smaller mustelids. However, if you compare it to this badger, the badger doesn't have that dumbbell-shaped molar, it has a triangular molar. I remember this because the badger is taxidae taxis and has the triangular teeth. Then, compared to the river otter, the otter has rectangular molars. So, dumbbell, wolverine, gula gula, triangular, badger taxidae taxis, and square, river otter, Montra canadensis. One more thing about the otter um, skull that may or may not be visible on the video or on the photos we take is that rather than having a flat palette across here, it's actually grooved. So if you feel it, you can feel how that palette is kind of sunk in. Now, in terms of the skins, um, it should be pretty straightforward if you've seen pictures of these things before. So the, the wolverine with the kind of white on the sides and under the neck. The badger with the special badger facial markings and generally lighter colored than the wolverine. And the otter, which has this very smooth waterproof coat long, thick tail, not bushy like the tail of the fisher, which might be the one thing that you could confuse this with. 